if I want to become a guide for an outfitter somewhere, what are some, what are some things I should be doing to, to make myself, I guess, marketable to a company like you guys? Yeah. And, and he's, and he's pretty fresh, right? So Anthony could kind of help out. Yeah. Anthony the, will have great input kay. for this too, because he kind of reached out to me and just, uh, obviously he's a guy now, so he did something right. But, um, so usually what I um, would say is make sure you have the personality for it first before even thinking about being a guide. Because like when we're posting all the school videos, like, hey, we get a snowmobile all winter long. It's like, yeah, it's great, but also be willing to sacrifice because... It's like work. Yeah. It's, yeah, it's not it's, just like you're hanging with the, with the, with the boys, right? Like yeah. It's, it's, it's work. work. You're going to be dealing... Uh, very rarely do you get experienced, like really experienced riders when you do. It's awesome because you just, it is like riding with the boys. Mm -hmm. But a lot of times it's people's first time in the mountains. So you're going to be doing a lot of teaching and you want to ensure that they come back in the future. So you got to be really patient and just make sure they, and they experience the mountains the correct way and don't ruin it for them. So make sure you have the, you're the personality first. If you go, if you've ever rode with your buddies and you brought someone new and you're frustrated that they brought someone new, then maybe it's not for you. You go go pursue something else, but yeah, start there. Make sure you have the right personal personality. Yeah. So if you don't like, if you don't, if you if it's watching someone increase their skills on a snowmobile is not something that you really care about, probably not not the right. Yeah, if you're in it for yourself, just for yourself, then probably not. Yeah, which which is fine for for most people who don't want a guide, right? Like they just want to do yeah. their thing. But yeah, if you want to be come a guide you gotta have that personality yeah. and i know plenty of awesome people awesome human beings that uh, they admit they don't have the personality to be a guide because they want to go have fun on their sleds and they just like yeah i don't you know i don't yeah then that's that's totally fine i'm not dogging on people that don't want to be a guide like you can have a great personality and still not be a guide like yeah. that's that's totally a thing but if you want to be a guide make sure you're yep. patient with people for sure because you got to have the personality mm -hmm. there's one what's patience big one Lots of patience. Just lots, lots of patience. Not a yeah. patient person. Yeah. Don't don't do it. Yeah. Bring your mic up a little bit. There you go. There you go. Yeah. Can there you hear we me go. Now? now I can hear you a lot <laughs> better. Can, yeah. We can hear you now. Yeah. Yeah. yeah so definitely there. Um, and then have like a like with any do any job really. Like people check socials now. Like make sure you have a clean social media because. <laughs> yes. I've had a fun, right. I've had a, a couple interesting people be like, yeah, I want to be a guide. I'm like, they send me this nice email, and then I go check their Instagram, and it's like all political, and it's like just, I'm like, just you know, have a clean social media. Yeah. Because like, that's first impression. What is clean though? What's clean nowadays? What would you say? <laughs> yeah, I, I, I like I have my my version of what clean is, but yeah, I think I mean when I'm looking specifically, just like clean cut, don't have anything illegal on there really, um, and like I avoid anything political. Yeah. Or, well, um, whether whether you are political or not, just you don't you oh, don't yeah. have to put like you don't have to yeah. show that sure in in that in space. It, yeah. yeah. Right. Yeah. Especially if you're trying to do things in that space, mm -hmm. you know. Yeah. Like I think there's a time and place to be political, and obviously like have your own opinions. But I think just like for me personally, social media is not that time and place sure. to be posting political things. Just because, especially with snowmobiling, I just want to post snowmobile content. You know, like right there with you. And I, you never know who you're gonna get as a client. Like it, it's. I think one way to instantly make fifty percent of the population be against you is to post political stuff because that's a guarantee it's like you know if you post whatever it is 50 yep. percent of those people are going to disagree with it so you're already limiting your potential customer base so that's why it's better to stay neutral because then you're not eliminating anyone yep so yeah that okay so clean so okay so we've got uh you gotta have the personality you gotta have some patience clean clean socials just clean yeah. resume right mm -hmm. like like make yourself presentable and marketable mm -hmm. right yeah because if you have those two things like it really doesn't matter how good of a writer you are like we can teach you um but obviously that's like the third thing is all you want to have some skills too um that's always a nice because that, that's always nice to have because i want you to be able to teach clients like your skills and so that's a definitely a huge bonus so make yourself marketable post those videos you know that you got you don't have to be doing these crazy 270 whip flips to be a backcountry guide. You don't have to be the best rider in the industry. You just got to have the personality for it, be responsible, and and be be able to get from point A to point B. The knowledge behind it. Yeah. For sure, so. Yeah. You don't have to be this crazy talented rider. Yeah. To be a guide. Anything else you would add to that, or is that kind of a good a good start, a good starting point there? You, yeah. You come. You come packing those things and you've got a pretty good shot to have a conversation with sled while or another outfitter yeah absolutely and just like you know obviously 
reach out you know it doesn't hurt at all like when i get messages like we're not always hiring i've turned plenty of people away and it's nothing personal it's just like we, we got it covered like yeah. we got enough people like i would love i wish we were busier to hire you because like that that means we're doing good too so don't take it personal and just uh if, if you don't get it if if you don't get the job you know don't ever burn bridges because there might be a time where we're needing another guide so if you were super nice to me and you're like respectfully understood that we weren't hiring then i might come back to you yeah you know? so Absolutely. never bur- never burn bridges i'd say especially in this industry because it's so small mm-hmm. it's such a tiny industry people talk yeah so. 